Bapanado everyone! After a week of isolation, I think it's time I make a video where you can just sit back, open up a bottle of Corona and relax while watching this video. And if you aren't old enough to drink in your country, just sit back, open up a bottle of Corona and relax while watching this video. Cause what are the authorities gonna do about it, touch you? Anyway, since I assume you have read the title of this video, you already know what it is about. I'll count every enemy in the Hall of Gods as a potential candidate for a spot here, though bosses with two variants such as False Knight and Failed Champion will only have their better version appear on this list if they are lucky. I also should state that I haven't fought Sisters of Battle, Winged Nosk, Pure Vessel and Absolute Radiance, because thinking about the Pantheons is the reason I cry myself to sleep at night. With those four cut we still have over 40 bosses to consider and not a lot of time because I will aim the script to be around 10 to 15 minutes because I need the algorithm to help me feed my children and by children I am referring to the snack attacks I have each night at 1am because I am an insatiable being. That said, creating this list is far from easy or to be more frank it is impossible to make a list that pleases everyone and if you wanna fuck Fluke Mom, it's okay, I, I don't judge, but please keep that dangling flashlight away from me. Paintmaster Shio is that one friend you have that's kinda introverted, but it's always a joy when he decides to be around. Also, he's that one friend that is a gay artist. He's definitely the kindest of the three nail masters, since he is just so chill outside of God Home, and his fight is just plain fun. That said, his brother Mato is also decent, but who the fuck hurt you, Oro? I mean, really? Charge 800 Geo for the fucking dash slash? Imagine your favorite anime or show or whatever, where a student learned something from a master. Now imagine, instead of saying, hmm, you need to find inner peace to control this power, or his bitches is just like, uh, yeah, I'll need your credit card in for now. Next thing you know, he sells his private Snapchat to Thirsty Box like brother. Uh, I'm... <sighs> I'm sorry, I almost forgot this segment was about Shio. Um, yeah, great fight, sparkly colors, whatever. I just need to go and take up a loan real quick for no reason related to this topic. We talked about the masters, now it's time to talk about the sage. Nail Sage Sly is such a fun boss because it got hinted at that he is a strong boy in the regular game and with the Godmasters DLC we finally got the fight we deserved. And if the third pantheon wasn't the bitch that it is, I wouldn't get PTSD every time I see his mask. That said, his first phase perfectly brings everything the Nail Masters can do to the table all at once. It's a white knuckle brawl that is intense throughout and definitely one of the harder bosses. But apparently, the Pale King trapped Sly in a room in the White Palace, because why the fuck does he turn into a fucking bus saw at the end? This last phase is an erratic fuckfest, which is still a lot of fun, but keeps me on the edge of my seat. But in the end, the capitalistic Babdamas Chio motherfucker is defeated. The Soul Master is a great build-up and probably some of the best sound effects in game. The way he just appears in the distance and then teleports in is truly menacing and honestly, the boss fight is mechanically very sound. His attacks feel very distinct from other bosses. He also got interesting lore as he was the master of the Soul Sanctum, sacrificing thousands of bugs to harvest soul in order to use it to battle the infection. In that regard, he kinda is like the nerdy, less cool nephew of Slave Knight Gale, and I haven't made fun of his second phase yet since my only options are corona related death toll chokes, which might not be funny in a month or two when millions of people might be dead, and mass killing locales of any sort, which is a topic I as an Austrian shouldn't touch as long as I'm not a politician justifying his actions by saying he was young and naive. I mean, what the fuck, Heinz Christian, you are fucking 50 years old. Did all that cooking really erase that last bit of human decency you might have had 20 years ago? Um, okay, that was way too political, I'm sorry. The takeaway from this fight is A, don't be a neo-Nazi, and B, Soulmaster makes funny sounds. The Radiance. The true final boss, if you don't count the abomination that is absolute radiance. I can't really say anything about the Radiance that hasn't been said before. Fighting the sun feels epic, going inside the Hollow Knight's mind feels epic, the ascent with my shady boys is epic, and slapping that fucking mouth in the face also feels good. The only thing that might hold it back a bit is that you have to fight the Hollow Knight every time before beating her, but whatever, the Hollow Knight's fight is a blast each time around. And the third ending itself is a very satisfying one, so beating the Radiance, though not one of the 
absolute hardest bosses still feels like a big accomplishment. And also insert a random moth joke here, please. There's one reason Hornet Protector edges out Hornet Sentinel as the better boss. It's cause the second fight has these fucking annoying bitch ass spikes that blend in with the surroundings in a way that makes me wanna curl up in the cast off shell and let me be buried by the earthquake. But I can't even get to the cast off shell because the sentinel is in the fucking way. Anyway, the first fight against Hornet is the first time the game really wants you to learn its mechanics. And it exceeds at that. It really needs you to get good in order to best Hornet. And even in repeat playthroughs, the Hornet fights, especially the first one, is still a whole lot of fun. Okay, some of you will hate me for this, others might just really dislike this choice, but Nosk is my number 5. While the fight itself is somewhat okay and its ceiling goo attack is fucking annoying as hell, the build up to the fight might just be one of my favorite gaming memories in recent years. Deep Nest is a great spooky area in its own right, and knowing that this mysterious thing is in the middle of it is scary as heck. It disguises itself as yourself and you know it's not you. Similar to waking up on a Sunday morning and reflecting on your past night out, questioning your life choices while looking in the mirror. Oh, so I've heard. Anyway, the build up, the dream nail dialogue you get from the corpses and the whole feeling is something so weird and exciting and just the thing I hope we get to see more of in Silk Song. The Mantis Lords deserve your utmost respect. They are strong minded enough to fight off the infection and are the warriors saving the kingdom from an invasion of bugs from deepness like Nosk. They are the second time the game wants you to really learn the movement in combat. It's hard but fair. It's a thrill ride that still needs me to pay attention after 150 hours of playing this game. It's not one of the hardest fights, but it remains one of the fastest. In some way, the Mantis Lords are like a high school clique, only paying respect to those who have earned it and throwing out those who are too selfish, except the Mantis Lords are actually cool. If anyone ever says they would never get beaten up by a woman because they are weak, hand them the controller and watch them cry their eyes out as they get beaten up repeatedly and build up a phobia against Mantises. The Hollow Knight. The semi-final boss of the game is pretty incredible. While the difficulty might be all over the place due to being able to fight him without seeing that much of the world, everything else is top notch. The soundtrack is awesome and has a lot of depth, the design and the text are a lot of fun and the progression of the fight is unbelievable. He reminds me of myself during these times in isolation, staying in one spot the whole time, attacking anyone who enters my room while crying orange goo and repeatedly stabbing myself. In all honesty though, bittersweet stories like the Hollow Knight, our somewhat brother, who was not entirely empty and therefore wasn't immune to the infection and just wants us to help him end it all, are the twists and story progressions that just work perfectly in this kind of games. In August 2019, my sleep paralysis demon had a name. Nightmare King Grimm. This guy fucks you up without consent, in my case hundreds of times. This fight is exhilarating and is probably the fight which expects you to be almost perfect in one-on-one -on -one combat. He only has a couple of attacks, but each of them can throw you off so badly that you also get hit by the following attacks and then you're dead. Flow is everything. That fucking Mr. Puff ass looking bastard is very hard, possibly one of the hardest 5 bosses I've ever fought. But it's all about learning and while he's never easy, Nightmare King Grimm took me 5 tries on my second playthrough, instead of 300. Now this fight is a fan favorite and you probably expected it to be number 1, but oh boy, I got a surprise for you. It's soap, motherfuckers! Soap, 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 I dream of you every night. Brother isn't the only one who wants to fuck soap. When did soap become so sexy? Soap, soap, But okay, okay, okay. Soap, soap, soap? We all knew so it destroys every competition, so I got an alternative number one. It's our boy, aka White Defender. While his name kind of sounds racially influenced, I can almost certainly say that this is not the case. This fight is fun. It isn't that hard at first, but it gets harder on repeat fights. But it's not only fun. Once you beat him, this happens.
حريم على حقها وصل انه باص يا صاحب You realize he has lost all of his friends. His dream nail dialogue says the following Hashimo, I miss your humor. Simia, I miss your stories. Greya, I miss your wisdom. Your Majesty, have faith in me. Isma, I miss. I miss you. The last part is yet another hint at him being in love with Isma. This fight would be in the top 5 without any of the lore, due to it being very fun. But Ogrim's story is touching and heart wrenching. But I am sure that if he waits long enough and keeps on hoping, someone will come along who will become his new friend. Okay, so this video has been in the works for quite some time and I rewrote it over and over again. And yeah. This segment was supposed to be kind of like a songy segment where I just, you know, sing along and plug my Patreon while I'm at it. Um, but that would have required actual skill, so instead I'm just rambling a bit. Um, yeah, these past few weeks and months, um, let's say weeks for now, have been very tasking for all of us. And for me also, there's been a lot of shit going on. And yeah, I just want you to know that this is the perfect time to just watch my videos and subscribe. <laughs> no, okay. Um, this is a time where you should focus on yourself, focus on your safety, focus on the things you haven't had the chance of doing until now and you might be able to do now. And stay safe, stay inside. It's not easy. It's, it's hard for all of us, believe me. Because when this video comes out, probably on the 22nd, it's just a day before my 20th birthday, and it's not funny to celebrate your birthday only with three people, me, myself, and I. <laughs> so, it's, it's a strange situation to be in, really. And, yeah. But if I've al already started, yeah. If you like this video and you want to, and you, you have some free time right now, you can also watch my other videos, maybe subscribe. Um, also, check out my Discord if you ever want to talk. There are a lot of people on there already, a lot of nice people. So, since you can't buy toilet paper, I've got another thing for you which relates to shit, which is my Patreon, uh, which you can check out if you have too much money because you can't buy any toilet paper. I don't know when I'm going to upload next, I've got a few ideas, it's going to be one or two weeks I guess, I hope I'll get around to it, and I'll see you next time, farewell my fellow high beings.